welcome back to our channel so students in this video i will give you a things where how you need to pass in this statistics for management subject okay what topics you learn what you need to learn for theory what you need to learn for problematic everything i will discuss in this video one day preparation within one day preparation how you need to pass this statistics for management subject also i will explain in this video okay so don't skip the video and watch the and then only you will able to understand the things whatever i am explaining in this video okay so yours is a 60 marks paper ma passing is like around 24 or 25 passing is 24 or 25 in part a anyway you will get theory only which is 10 marks weightage in part c you will have case study which is 10 marks weightage this two sections whatever you are having part a and part c without any preparation also you can able to attempt that part a and part c okay out of 20 marks you are attempting 20 marks okay out of 20 marks approximately 10 marks you can able to score no here 5 marks you will able to score here also 5 marks you will able to score for attempting only if you have written very well means approximately 15 marks also you may get it so we can assume 10 marks only okay remaining 14 marks you need to carry it from the part b in part b each question carries 8 marks so if you attempt two questions 8 marks 8 marks total 16 marks 16 marks weightage you will get or else not two questions three questions you assume three questions you are attempting in part b okay along with part a and part c definitely you will get passing marks definitely you will get pass in the subject okay so in part b in what are the chapters you need to concentrate and according to order wise how you need to prepare first go with first unit theory from first unit prepare theory if you have prepared problematic no problem no problem okay then after completing first unit later go to fifth unit prepare correlation and regression problematic because compulsory they will ask for 8 marks so problematic 8 marks theory 8 marks problematic either from correlation or regression okay here only you are attempting two long questions okay then go with the unit 4 in unit 4 prepare one way and two way anova if you prepare one way or two way anova for problematic definitely one problematic they will get it for eight marks here only three marks were over no three questions you have attempted in part b here this is problematic this is also problematic see simple thing i want to say that instead of theory if you have prepared problematic the burden will be less problematic will be easy to understand just remembering the formula everything is same steps is same that is same but coming back to the theory you need to prepare every question in the theory okay so that's the after completing unit 4 then go back to the unit number 3 unit number 3 compulsory theory only prepare it okay in the explanation video only one theory question i have explained that theory question definitely they will come in examination about the sampling just go with the theory and later give preference to unit number 2 that is poison distribution whether it may come in the examination or not is the least choice so if you have perfect with any of the four chapters or three chapters you will able to attempt three long and part a and part c also okay so out of uh, 24 marks you can able to score 15 marks in long answers you are attempting 8 marks into 3 8 3 is a 24 right so out of 20 more more you can able to score 5 marks in part a for attempting 5 marks in part c you are attempting for 5 marks okay so total 25 marks you are getting no more than 25 you will able to get it. not only 25 you will get it more than 25 means definitely will get passing marks but only one thing you need to remember is whether you know or don't know the question attempting the question in the examination is very much important if you don't know the question if you don't know the problematic also attempt it just make question number in your booklet and do whatever you understand whatever the stuff you have understood that only you put it on the paper okay so this is the only thing i want to tell uh, this is the most important tip for every student 
is that don't keep your booklet empty attempt all questions whatever they have asked in the question paper okay so this is all about the video i hope that you have got clarity if you got clarity if you have any further doubts let me know in the comment section all the very best for examination and preparation see you all the next video bye everyone